Hello there, all the people on YouTube. It's me, Milo, and you're watching Trading Cards. I'm joined with Mr. Miyagi, Pete Alonzo, and Groucho Marx. Uh, today I got uh, uh, all the cards I picked up off ComC for the last year. I, I got them all sent home. Uh, so let's see what I got. So these cards, I got to tell you, um, all of these cards were actually purchased with money I made on ComC. So I sent in a whole bunch of cards I didn't want to come see. I paid that addition. I I think it was like 20 bucks total, uh, plus the shipping of the cards to come see. And then I sold those cards and I used the money to, to pick up this stuff. I still have some cards on come see that I haven't sold yet, but um, including shipping these cards back to me, that was also paid for by the price of these cards. I ended up picking up a bunch of blue jay players autographs but then the blue jays had to fire sell the team so a lot of these guys aren't with the blue jays anymore including isaiah isaiah kiner falefa when he played for the crawdads look how young this guy looks when he played for the old hickory crawdads i got this garbage pails garbage pail kid card i i really liked it i've never seen this garbage pail kid card before and uh, I just thought the design was super cool. It's a GPK skateboard stickers from Complex Land 3.0. I don't know what set that is, but I thought that, that it was a really cool looking card. So we got some of these Allen and Ginter uh, <laughs> non-sports playing figures. So we got Guten Gutenberg for the Bible. It's not Steve Gutenberg. This is uh, Johannes Gutenberg. Using borrowed money, Gutenberg invented the movable type printing press in the mid 15th century. They say it was the most important invention of our of our lifetime. Well, there's another guy we traded. Uh, it's when he played for the Dodgers, uh, Jimmy Garcia. I tried to find their cheapest autographs that looked cool. Um, here's a player who I stopped collecting, but there were still some cards uh, that I picked up early on in the season. We got Bo Bichette, the shortstop, when he played for the Fisher Cats. Just like all the pink on this card. Bo led all farmhands with a 362 batting average over two levels in 2017. We did. I did. I do like this player. We got a, a retro autograph, Ernie Clement. He's probably going to be on the team next year. I do like him. Not numbered. This is his rookie card when he played for the Guardians. We got uh, this GPK, Asher Scratcher. This is a Freddy Krueger GPK. I don't know what set this is from though. It could be just from like, uh, oh, the horrible, but I think it might be from a different set. We have Aurelvis Martinez. He had those PEDs. So he, he got sent down for a bit or suspended for 80 games, but I think he'll be back next season and he should be, he should be good. This one's numbered to 99, 67 of 99. We got Carved Carson. It's a Halloween card there. Do the other baseball ones. We got Jose Batista. I just realized I didn't have a single Jose Batista card. And as a Jays fan, kind of want to have one of those. So I picked a really nice looking one. One that I thought looked great. And then also, Caleb Joseph. Didn't have a card of him. He, he does commentary. For the Blue Jays, this one's numbered 30 of 250. And uh, he, he told everybody where he sits when he does commentary at a Jays game. So next season, if he's still there, I'm going to try to find him and get him to sign this one. Uh, Non-baseball stuff that was still in that first half. We got a Twin Peaks Scratch and Sniff Donuts. I was just so curious. You know? Oh, the scratch and sniffs on this side here. 
Oh yeah, that really smells like donuts. It smells like frosted Krispy Kremes. That's awesome. I love Twin Peaks, so I thought I'd. And the autographs are super expensive, so I thought I'd grab some, <laughs> some of the kind of interesting cards from that set. And here's a autograph. Um, because I already have a Marklin Baker autograph I got through the mail. So I thought might as well get Bronson Pincho. And uh, this one's numbered 3 of 15. Uh, and I like might as well get him. We could have the Perfect Strangers. Both the autographs of the Perfect Strangers. Put him next to Grocho. And we got another half to take a look at here. Beau Bichette. This is from the 582 Montgomery Club set. I really like Bo Bichette before this last season. I know we're going to trade him. I know he's not going to be around for much longer. Makes me sad going through all these cards. We got another Twin Peaks. This one's orange juice. Kind of have a sniff of this, huh? Might as well have a sniff of the OJ. You're scratching the car. Oh yeah, that smells like orange juice too. These are good scratch and sniffs. Sorry I had to damage the card to do it, but boy oh boy was it worth it. I mean, you're not gonna have a scratch and sniff and not scratch and sniff it, right? More cheap autographs of, of Blue Jays who are no longer Blue Jays. Daniel Vogelbach. Danny Burgers. Machiavelli, he got traded from the Blue Jays pretty early on this season. We got another Bo Bichette, this is a die cut. Into the fire, out of the pen and into the fire. It's a cool looking die cut of the diamond, I think. Of the baseball field. Oh, here's a nice one. We got a rookie autograph of Spencer Horowitz. Do like that one. He's going to still be on the team next year, I think. Oh, I had this card sent back because nobody wanted it. It was hard to get rid of. So I was like, you might as well just send this one back. The Meeting of the Minds, Babylon 5. I also grabbed this from the newest Ellen Ginther set. I didn't buy any packs, but I wanted the card of the CN Tower. I thought this one was pretty cool. It's um, a sapphire... numbered no it's just the sapphire version of the blue jays card from 2020 i think uh outfielders rock double hats it's when the outfielders wear uh, gloves as hats guriel jr teoscar hernandez and kevin biggio none of which are with the jays anymore but i thought it was a cool card we got a sherlock holmes card sherlock holmes Got traded from the Blue Jays too. We got another Sapphire, Kevin Kiermeyer. This catch was amazing. I wanted a card of this catch. I was so happy they used it as a uh, as a photo for the, his card that year. Um, so I got this for, again for a steal. A lot of these super cheap. We got the hugging and the jumping around card. I got a parallel of that. This was. I forget what kind of parallel they call this, but a cheaper parallel, a, a not very pricey parallel of that. And we got a numbered card here. It's the Toronto Blue Jays 2021, maybe. And that's 133 of 499. It's the team card, the Blue Jays team card. And finally, we have another autograph. I think he's still with the team, actually. Zach Pop. Don't know if he'll be with the team next year, but again, not very expensive. Autograph of Zach Pop. Mid-ending reliever. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite card from this Com C Hall was. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.